Hey TPT sellers, do you want to increase your TPT earnings? I gotcha. Let's do this. I am giving away everything I know about TPT for $3 right now. I just published an ultimate bundle on my second TPT store where I'm going to post short answers to TPT seller questions. And it's a growing bundle. It's on sale. The sale ends in two days. And if you miss the launch sale, no problem. You can get all of my TPT seller tips and tricks for just $1 each. It's a growing bundle, so the more resources I put into it, the price has to go up. And of course, TPT has that 400 resource limit in bundles. So wouldn't it be funny if you got all of this stuff for the price of a coffee, right? Crazy good deal. Now my business model is still to post all of my TPT seller tips and tricks for free on YouTube. But the problem is, time. There's never enough time. And even if we had a time machine, there still wouldn't be enough time to do everything that we think we have to do. Right now, I have over 105 videos. If you were to sit and watch them back to back, it would take over one day, 21 and a half hours. That's a lot of time to watch. Or you could just pay $3 for the growing bundle and get everything I know in short bite-sized chunks. If you've ever watched one of my videos and you are confused, you're not alone. Someone left a comment and they said, I'll be honest, I only get about 20% of what you're talking about, but I'm a beginner and that's okay. Lots of people only get a fraction of what I talk about in the beginning. And then as you learn more about TPT, as you watch more TPT seller videos, you start to learn more and more. You get more lived experience selling on TPT and then you unlock more of the videos and it makes a little bit more sense until eventually maybe you'll get 60% or 70% of what I'm talking about. You don't have to get everything. The question is, can you learn one new idea from every video? And if you can, that's a win. Now, some of you have let me know that you're struggling watching my videos. I'm still struggling. Maybe create some videos for dummies, like a shortened version. No problem, I gotcha. Here's an example of what I did. I took the most important ideas about the sales funnel from masterclass number five and masterclass number six, and I put them together into a shorter 17 minute video. I mean, 17 minutes is still long, but if you compare it to three hours, it's a lot shorter. And so this is the video that might be more easier to digest. It's just TPT seller tip number two, how to use data to know what to improve next. It's $21.75 because if you were to pay someone minimum wage to watch three hours of content, that's how much you would have to pay them. Don't buy this resource. Instead, get the bundle because the bundle is just three bucks right now. Isn't that crazy? You get so much value for three bucks. And that's the point. That's the value proposition that we make as TPT sellers. If the perceived value of the resource is so much higher than what you are asking for, then it's a no brainer to buy. And then if you have a sense of scarcity, like this deal is ending in a couple of days, there's even more sales psychology to get this resource now. So then I wonder, is there something like this that you could do in your TPT store? Maybe. People don't buy resources, they buy you. The market is saturated with so many products in your niche. What makes you different from everyone else? The difference is you. You are the hero of your story. In the same way that people will buy this bundle because they know the kind of content I create, they know the quality, and if they can get in at the ground floor and only pay a dollar each per resource, yeah, this is a no brainer. Now, some of you watching my videos have let me know that you're frustrated. I don't get it either. Is this something I need to do? It's so over my head and that's on me. I need to communicate a little bit more clearly. I'm still learning this YouTube medium. It's the worst possible digital learning platform because it's all one way. I'm talking into a camera. I can't read your body language and I'm talking to people who are technical experts and people who just Technology is not their thing. And whether you're good with computers or not good with computers has nothing to do with where you are in the TPT journey. So it's on me. I need to find a way to communicate more clearly. One of the things I'd like to explain is that there are three types of videos on this channel. The first type is a lesson. This might be a masterclass like masterclass number nine, where I talk about a free tool to increase TPT earnings. Usually at the beginning of a lesson, I break down the concepts that I'm going to go over in the class. Sometimes it might be an episode where I'm explaining a concept, but it's not as long or in depth as a masterclass. By the way, if you watch episode 35 and you look at the pinned comment, you could be getting free TPT seller coaching. You just need the secret word. The second kind of video I make is where I model being a TPT seller 
or I model being a TPT hawk. So I'm basically just showing you what I do and I'm just talking through the motions. Now this kind of video, I know that TPT sellers like you, they just listen to it in the background as they work on covers or they do other things. It's more about ambiance. If I say something that's interesting to you, but I don't explain it clearly enough because I just mention it in passing, just ask a question in YouTube and I'll answer. As you listen to the video or as you watch the video, can you pick up one new idea that you didn't know before? If you can, I consider that a win. I have a couple of new series all at the same time, and I haven't really figured out how to separate them more clearly. In one new series, I have a brand new TPT store, and I'm just walking through what I do. These videos are recorded about a week or two or a month ahead of when they get played. So even though I know now that I have to explain more clearly what the point of these videos are, we won't see that change for a couple of episodes. The second kind of series I have is my 10x journey where I'm trying to 10x my income by the end of the year and I'm going backwards. I'm about $2,000 down since the last time I checked. So I just talk about little strategies or things that I'm trying along the way as I try to recover lost ground. I have a third series, which is my TPT blog series, where I'm working on trying to drive my own eyeballs to my TPT store. I'm trying to do that to increase my sales on my store. So in that series, my TPT blog series, I'm just talking about what I'm doing on my TPT blog. Feel free to ask questions about your WordPress blog. I love WordPress. The final type of video I have on this channel is when I'm chatting with another TPT seller. So Enrique and I have a show Tuesday afternoons, right in the middle of the workday in the States. Uh, and it's a live cast show. We just talk about whatever we're working on in our stores. You don't have to watch it live, obviously. Lots of people watch it afterwards and then just ask a question or jump in the conversation. It's always super exciting when someone catches the live show. Easily the highlight of my day. Bottom line, the point of all of these videos is for you to get a chance to know me and to know some of the other TPT sellers around here. And the point of that is to normalize what we do. No one else does what we do. That's a very bizarre concept for a lot of people. It feels very atypical. So the point of these videos is just to say, yeah, no, this is this is what we do. We grind away behind our computer screens. Things don't work right away, but that's part of the game. And we just keep on trying until we figure it out. The bottom line is you're not alone. You're not alone on this TPT journey. There are a lot of us here who are learning about ourselves as we try to get financial freedom. The other day, Paula and I did our first show together. And as we get some more data, it'll be exciting to see what happens in Paula's experiment. If you've been watching the channel and you think you might want to hop on a call, I'd love to chat with you about it. Just leave a comment and we'll go from there. By the way, sometimes the covers change. It might look like this. In a few days, it might look like that. It might change again. It could change to this, or it could change to that. It might even look like this. And that's because I do A-B testings with the covers. Now, a lot of you are excited to be here. You just discovered my videos, or maybe you've been watching for a while. Someone recently emailed me and they said, I love your content. I want to be intentional. Do you have a recommended order of videos? And I'm like, no, I don't. I didn't, but now I do. And so it doesn't matter if you're confused or if you're struggling or if you're frustrated or if you're excited, start here. This is my TPT seller mindset course. If you're brand new to the channel or if you're brand new to selling on TPT or if you're frustrated by the lack of sales on your store, this is a good course for you because being a teacherpreneur is very different from being a teacher. It requires a different mindset and a different set of skills. This course, goes over that mindset shift and then explains the sales funnel to help you understand how to look at data to improve your store. And then finally, it talks about TPT seller communities. So it's free for the next 24 hours. Hopefully you get this message in time. Completely different from any other TPT seller course that I know of because the content is free. It's already on YouTube. What you're paying for is the guided tour through the content with discussion questions. The challenge with most TPT seller courses is you don't really know what you're buying. Maybe you'll buy a course and you'll learn something new, or maybe you'll buy a course and discover I already knew everything in here. Well, no problem. I gotcha. You can do the entire course for free. The discussion questions just help you get more out of it to apply to your store. And the best part is, answers are not provided. Why is this a good thing? Because getting perfect on the questions will not help you improve your store. What will help is if you can internalize the mindset shift and if you can apply some of the concepts in the course onto your own TPT store. Can you learn to pivot to take advantage of opportunities or to pivot when things aren't going well with a sense of equanimity. If you don't know what equanimity is, no worries. It's going to explain it in the course. So that's how my course is different. Now the question is, 
How are your TPT products different? You've already told me about how TPT is a saturated market or there's so much competition or it's impossible to get eyeballs on your products. How are you differentiating yourself from your competition? In other words, what's your unfair advantage? So for those of you who already bought my resource, which is a growing bundle, it's brand new, chances are you bought it because you've bought into the idea of me. You like the kind of information I'm sharing. You like that you're getting ideas that you're not getting from other TPT places. You like that I go to business sources outside of TPT, business coaches who have earned a hundred million dollars to find out what they're saying and to apply that into TPT land. So that's my unfair advantage. And because you've bought into me, it's a no brainer to buy all of my resources on TPT for three bucks. So if we bring it back to you, what's your unfair advantage? Because you're the hero of your TPT store. People are buying into you. They're not buying your resources because let's be honest, there are a bunch of competitors who all sell the same stuff. They're buying you. And if you're a TPT tadpole and you're still figuring out your stuff and you're trying a whole bunch of different things to see what works, that's okay. But just understand that eventually, you need to become consistent because people are buying into you and we build trust by being consistent. If you say you're always gonna do something and then you deliver and then you in fact over deliver what you say you're gonna do, that's consistency. That works for relationships in the real world and that works for business relationships on TPT land. Now I'm discovering there's actually a very big problem and danger in TPT land. And it's not the drama. I think the number one danger in TPT land might be that people are looking for one correct answer. And I wonder if this is because we are in education and in education, there's not a lot of time to mark. It's easier to give questions where there is one correct answer. Multiple choice is way easier to mark than open-ended essay question. And because we're used to teaching that there's one way to do it, that there's one correct answer, it's right or wrong, then I think that's carrying over to us in our TPT seller experience because now we're looking for someone to tell me what to do. When we're in the classroom, oftentimes we're telling our students what to do, but that doesn't work in the real world. How do I know this doesn't work in the real world? Okay. Well, I was listening to Alex Hermosi's book, $100 million offers, how to make offers so good people feel stupid saying no. And he talks about, yeah, this is the problem with convergent versus divergent thinking. In order to create solutions that haven't been thought of before, we need to think outside of the box. And that requires divergent thinking where there are multiple possible answers that could be correct. Whereas in school, oftentimes there's one correct answer and we're steering our students to study in this way for this one correct answer. So then as teachers who are entering this teacherpreneur space, we're looking for someone to tell me what to do. And maybe we find this great course that tells me what to do. Here's how you create your product cover. Here's how you create your product description. And then we have a lot of products that all look the same and maybe that works, but nothing works for everyone all the time forever. And eventually that won't work. Can you see how we're setting ourselves up for frustration? You told me to do this and it stopped working. It's not fair. It's not fair. Right. So I think there's definitely a danger that we get stuck on this idea that there's one correct answer or that once we find this correct answer, well, I put in my hard work, it should be like this forever. Maybe. So take all of the TPT courses because I'm a firm believer that you can learn something from anything, but understand that we need a fundamental mindset shift to become more flexible in understanding how business works in TPT land. Now I say mindset shift, but really I mean attitude adjustment because the world is not fair, things change. And the only thing that I can really control is the way that I respond. Can I adopt the growth mindset where I can try to pivot to take advantage of opportunities and pivot to try to avoid obstacles when they come up in my business or in my personal life. And I think that's the beauty of being a teacherpreneur and selling on TPT. Now, if you're looking for my new store, all you need to do is type TPT seller. There I am, number one, Mike Fuchigami TPT seller tips. Here's the ultimate bundle. And in the ultimate bundle, we have this TPT seller mindset course, which is currently free, but eventually it'll be $79.75 which sounds like a crazy amount, but that's because there's 11 hours of content. And if you were to pay someone minimum wage to watch all the videos, it would be $79.75. So obviously, yeah, don't pay $79.75. Just go get the bundle, which is only $3 right now. If you're brand new to the channel, check out this TPT business course. YouTube thinks you should watch this video. And as you watch my videos, 
If you learned something new, hit the like button or hit subscribe because that encourages me to create more content like this. Thank <laughs> you.